Death is perhaps the world's greatest mystery. For centuries, the living has looked for answers to the age-old question, what happens to us when we die? To close your eyes and imagine your own moment of death can be as intriguing as it is overwhelming. To search for answers to what lies beyond the life we know is the driving force behind paranormal investigation. History reveals that paranormal research can be traced back as far as the mid-1700s. It was during this time that investigation into the spiritual realm began to take a more public form. Fast forward to modern times, and there are two names that come to mind, Ed and Lorraine Warren. We have wanted to visit the gravesite of Ed and Lorraine for quite some time. As paranormal investigators ourselves, we have gathered inspiration from their life's work. Often surrounded by controversy, but never wavering in their convictions, the Warrens had been involved in some of the most outstanding cases in the history of modern-day ghost stories. Unless you've been living under a rock, you will know that Hollywood has its own version of Ed and Lorraine, drawn from some of the more notorious cases they were involved with. From the Perrin family haunting, Annabelle, Arnie Johnson, the Enfield poltergeist, Amityville, and many more. But behind the glitz and glamour, and yes, embellishment beyond wildest imagination, they were the real people, the real stories. The Warrens were often considered the gold standard of paranormal investigation. They captured many of their investigations on both audio and video, paving the way for the advancement in the use of modern day equipment for scientific research. The New England Society for Paranormal Research, which the Warrens founded in 1952, remains strong and steadfast to this day. The Society supports paranormal researchers in New England, offers comfort to those seeking answers, and educates all people who are curious to the world of paranormal investigation. In addition, they were often consulted by the Catholic Church itself for exorcisms and knowledge regarding cases that have been brought forth to the Church. As a demonologist, Ed would be asked to perform rituals that were reserved solely for men of the cloth. They were well-known and highly regarded lecturers and would draw a crowd to every venue they spoke at. They involved their audience and inspired a generation of researchers to follow in their footsteps. It is worthy to note that they did not charge a fee for investigating homes, rather making their money from their lecture circuit, appearances, rights to their archives for media purposes, and book sales. They have gained worldwide attention for their collection of haunted items and have, even after death, invited the public to learn more about these artifacts. The occult museum is not actively open to the public, however the family continues to offer events where many of the more iconic items can be viewed. For the entirety of their lives, they dedicated themselves to the advancement of paranormal research. Many have been skeptical of their story, perhaps even their motives. But the bottom line is, the paranormal world as we know it today would not be possible without the dedication brought forth by Ed and Lorraine. We are happy to have had the chance to pay our respects to two people who have inspired us to carry on the work of paranormal research. We hope that regardless of your feelings for their work, you will draw inspiration yourselves and be ever curious to the world that lies just beyond our reach. The veil that separates between life and death can only begin to be explained by those who are not afraid to follow in the footsteps of Ed and Lorraine. May they rest in peace and continue to inspire from even beyond the grave. So we came here today to pay our respects to two people that we have admired for years. It's kind of powerful being yeah. here. I mean... Well, they had... I mean, they're so inspirational. Yeah, and I just... You know, just who they are and what they've done and anybody in the paranormal world. I, I mean, come on. I think uh, I wish that we could have known them personally. I think that would have been really amazing. Yeah. But anyway, we brought something that means something to us. This is a special rosary that we brought. It has some meaning for us, so... Leave it here as a gift. Well, 
May you both rest in peace and just know that you've inspired everybody in the paranormal world.